What's up guys, Ton Ton here and this has been a while and I'm back to show you my latest figure. This is a figure that I have wanted for a long time. This is the Transformer Studio Series Revenge of the Fallen Leader Class, the Fallen, or you can call him Megatronus. Yes, I know that I have a in the past video that I have a mixed feeling about getting a Studio Series The Fallen but after handling him I feel glad that they finally decide to win with this way to make him the reason why let's get to the detail of this video so here we have The Fallen and the first impression is that how big he is and to amplify this I'm gonna have a size comparison straight away this so here we have the Studio Series Voyager Glass Megatron from the same movie and as you can see Megatron is quite a big figure but the Fallen just try him in length wise and side wise just look at those big arms and the leg is just so great one thing that I love about the Fallen's design is that he still got that a little bit of that Cybertronian form unlike the Fallen incarnation in some you know in the uh, robot in disguise cartoon or whatsoever they try to make him a more modern transformer what i like about the fallen of michael bay is that he he is still a cybertronian form he still looks like a proto form and unfortunately after this we don't see that too often and i think this is what makes him great in the movie because he, he simply doesn't need to transform he just being who he is as one of the primes and that is really cool although the Hasbro and Takara did a great job this time on making him look great so upon the colors you got some gunmetal some matte gray some metallic blue some orange for highlights and of course you still get a lot of big chunks of black clear plastic and now look at this in, in comparison to the movies and I think that this is a good decision because in the movie if you look closely at the bodies of the Transformer, especially the Primes, you know, the tomb scene of Revenge of the Fallen, you see that their body had this dark reflection on them. And I think this captured the whole thing, which is pretty cool. Really, really nicely done details over here. When you talk about the Fallen, you cannot just skip the face. That is what distincts part of him, that evil, menacing look. And also, you know, got some tri tribal vibe onto him. This is really nice because if, if you look at the beers here and there, that is really cool. And of course, unfortunately, the beer here is fixed. But I really, I would really like to for someone to make those upgrade kits and make the beer, you know, movable. That would be really, really cool. And zoom in on the face, you see this is a piece of rubber that got painted with gloss black and some gunmetal gray onto it, which is really, really nice. And you can see the eye is red because there's a light pipe function so if i gonna move check if i'm gonna raise the light on directly onto the light pipe and so you can see bye bye here so it does glow which is really cool and of course what would be the fallen without his mask so this is his mask and fortunately for us hasbro has done a removal function for it so now you got a face this is the his original face and as you can see the light pipe works a lot better now and it just looks stunning i mean i love the details i love the accuracy here and they even tr make a opening mouth for him like that so you can replicate the scene where primes kill him and so the reason for it to become better at light piping is because the whole piece of this head is a clear made from clear plastic black clear plastic so they just got painted in some gold some silver and it just looks stunning and if you look at his neck you see this a lot of layers of armor detail over here they're not high they are not lined so you hardly see them if you put the mask on but i really appreciate the efforts of making this it just so uh, looks so great yeah. so to, to put the mask on is quite easy you, you just simply put it in like that and it holds together because the mask is plus is rubber moving down to the arm section and here we got the arms you see the whole shoulder is walk and the arm is extra large which is really really nice i love this arm so much and if you see this size arm over here and see all of those little painted silver highlight i just love those not only hasbro would skip on this but they actually went on the distance and painted, painted this for us this far 
I mean, this is truly wonderful. And you, of course, you still got that weird back section of the fallen leg in the movies. And it connects to the arms really well, but there's a, there will be a problem, which I'm going to mention in the action and articulation part. And for the hands, you just simply, this is a fixed hand. And I'm not still sure how this hand would work in real life or in the movie, but yeah, it looks pretty cool. And this is going to be a not so easy fix, but it is fixable for those of you who want some movable fingers. I think some upgrade kits will help. And now for finishing the torso, the torso of this guy is a big, big piece of clear black plastic with that gloss and with a metallic blue highlight onto the middle. You got some orange here and there and they also serve as like highlights. I recently do some done some Gundams and I love this kind of marking details. And this whole chest is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. And because we are talking to torso, let's flip him around and see although this all this part is not really necessary but they went all the distance to make this look really nice. You got the spine look at the top. It just look, look like the spine and then some muscle strand at this bottom section here which is like really cool now finally for the legs this is the basic Michael Bay transformer leg of course this is a beast leg and first of all and foremost I must say that I love the feet they are wide they are broad I think this is look this look great because this video is the only way that this figure can stand on its own because of how his design is so big and yeah I think this fit looks perfect and the leg is just looks stunning i mean you got all that nice black clear plastic that matte gray highlight and some silver onto the final onto the leg which just looks stunning my only regret is that i wish that the feet got some more paint onto it so i thought the claw section so you know, some bright silver or something that would looks really great so the actual action and articulation begins with your head you can look up that far and not really look down because you always look down on people the, the head can rotate and otherwise this is the rotation of the mask if you remove the mask then you get a whole 360 view it's much easier this is you got a shoulders moving up and when you move this part move as well but then here's the problem because he's connecting to this to and this but like this ball joint here this is too short to hold with the arms so uh, as a result, it is kind of limit his arm range. Um, this could have been fixed by you know just lengthen this joint over here or make this whole piece plastic. I know that Hasbro want to make this back section joint movable, so they are too excited for this, so they forget about the ball joint. But yeah, I think DNA would fix that in the future. And otherwise, you can always unplug it for a more pleasant post. So now I'm gonna do that full rotation here this is the move independently of the ar arms you got a swivel here double banded elbow and swivel and this is the wrist really nice articulation but shamefully because of the cable section slash I don't know what to call it but yeah it's a pain and that is because of the of that I cannot do the raising arm pose that he like using the force because that would this would this is impossible so yeah the only you, way you can do it is actually to remove it and pose him mm. you're gonna waste swivel because of the way he transformed this is the leg of course kick to the front all the way kick to the back all the way this is you got a beautiful split you got a thigh rotation which is really nice and you got a swivel here uh, you got a bent knee and you got another swivel here because this guy got a beast like leg and the claws can move like that because of the way he transformed and you got a pivot articulation wise I think that he's pretty decent he got a nice range of articulation for action figures and I wouldn't complain the only complaint I would make about him is that the the back thing that hinders the arms movement I really hope for someone to come up with an upgrade kit to solve that and I'm definitely gonna buy it for the future for posting this guy okay now to the accessories accessories why of course he came with this famous staff and yeah it's a nice looking staff one of the studio series weapon that I'm actually happy about 
and of course this tab can break in half because it does break in half in the movie which is really cool so to attach it, to attach onto his hands you simply pull one like that and then attach it the others and just like that he can hold he's holding his staff right now and you see when how we start the arm thing surely surely is a pain in the ass i mean it looks cool for some degree but then it's a pain and this is why the hand is get weird because he's holding it by his like his two thumb and but the other's fingers are stay in one place which is like really really weird to me so yeah we, we have covered everything in the role mode i believe so now let's move to the transformation Finished transforming the Fallen, I must say, wow, what a transformation, you know, because this does not appear in the movie, so I think that they get the almighty power of fuck up to whatever the fuck they want to make this guy a transformer. Personally, I don't care and I don't give a fuck about this because obviously the Fallen does not transform in the movie. But yeah, this is a transformer figure, so of course he has to transform. So and so here's the result of a Cybertronian spaceship. We got some very look ancient looking parts, some deep, some like so you know this is like transformer fox with World Warcraft or something to create a hybrid. Wow, what a mess. But anyway, you still got some good points of it. I think in some way I I think that this makes sense. In some way like you still got the thruster, which is the arms. You got the wings for the leg, and I don't know why this this need for the two lens to be up here, but I would consider this part of his body rather than a weapon. And yeah, the fronts look nice because instead of having a nose like the most modern day jet, you got a somewhat of a claw. I think this kind of looks cool, you know, kind of. And yeah, and I don't understand the reason for that orange piece over here that's is clearly representing a cockpit but this is a transformer man why you need a cockpit uh, it's weird flipping it around let's see and you can always see from here that yeah the head is actually the engines and yeah that that, that, that looks cool in some way i don't have too much thing to say because about this form is is this all about people's opinion you would rather like it or hate it? Me, I'm in the hate it position. I don't really like this. I don't plan to display him like this because, let's be honest, in this form he looks like shit. He doesn't deserve to be posed in this or anything else. He should be him being the fallen that we see on to in the movie. And so that will be it for today, guys. So I will see you guys later. Turn on out.